Hello, I'm in my office and I'm going to show you how I took an old monitor and hooked it up to my MacBook to run dual monitors on my MacBook and what we can do if you can set that up. All right, here we are. This is uh, my monitor there. Here's my MacBook and I just ran the VGA cord. I have an adapter that plugs into my MacBook and I ran the VGA cord over to the back of the monitor and of course the monitor is plugged into electrical outlet. So here's what we can do. All right we're gonna go to the Apple system preferences and we're gonna look at the displays. All right and now I'm gonna go to arrangement and this arrangement, this screen here with the white bar, that represents my MacBook. This screen represents my second monitor. And I'm, because they're arranged with MacBook on the left, monitor on the right, that means I can take my mouse now and move it all the way off of my MacBook going to the right. And it appears on my other monitor. <laughs> in my office. So I can move things between both monitors now as long as that arrangement is set up that way and if it, it was uh, if my computers were arranged in a different manner for example uh, you saw the the arrangement of my screens for practical purposes MacBook is kind of on the left of the screen and my monitor is on the right I'm gonna arrange them that way and then I'm just gonna close this so let's go to a team meeting All right so now what can we do what can we do with this setup right let's say that I'm sharing my screen I'm gonna share my entire desktop and I'm in Schoology maybe I'm showing my kids something perhaps we're doing a Nearpod lesson together maybe I'm showing them something from my textbook software I'm on brain pop we're looking at something together whatever the case may be my students are seeing this screen and on my view, I see a red outline around my desktop. You probably don't see that. But uh, that tells me that that's what students are seeing. The issue with this is, if I'm sharing my screen, I then lose the ability to see my students' smiling faces. So if I re-enable uh, re the Teams app, I'm going to drag this over to my other monitor. And now you can see I have my kids' faces up there of course there's nobody in my meeting and then on this screen I have my Schoology course on my MacBook and I could be working through this as uh, as uh, we're all you know working through this together my students are seeing this on the screen but because I've brought my students faces over to the other monitor I can then see both at the same time and that certainly is advantageous to the teacher